thank you to our awesome patrons who made this video possible. To join our community and get cool rewards like postcards from around the world, click the link in the description or go to patreon.com slash the way away. Saudika from Thailand. This morning we did a live stream and you guys said that you wanted us to film us going grocery shopping for the first time here in Thailand. So that's what we're gonna do down the street. We heard that there's like a shopping mall. Um, so we're gonna go there and see if we can find different foods to eat. It's Thailand, right? Like, what do you eat? I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's at the grocery store. <laughs> So we're in the center nine. It's pretty legit. Now we were given a tip by our neighbor that if we go through the whole way and go up these escalators that we will find a grocery store and hopefully like a little food court where all the local people eat. We're gonna get some food first, then we'll go shopping. go eat or have food before you go to the grocery store because you might buy items you don't necessarily need because you're hungry so that's what we chose to do we're at lunch and we've come to this market and it's actually a super local market I haven't seen any tourists around here a lot of the items are only in Thai it's called Siri market and it's super cheap like compared to the restaurants that are around our place and the restaurants that were in the shopping mall this place we got a plate of food for a dollar seventy five each and then we decided to get some Thai tea, which is delicious, for only a dollar. This is only a dollar. I'm gonna love Thailand. <sighs> so good. <laughs> I love this stuff. <laughs> As a warning, we were told that this is a little spicy, a little bit spicy. Um, to clarify, it is spicy. So in Thailand, food is spicy generally, and when you want it to be not spicy, you can, there's a word for not spicy, but that still doesn't guarantee you anything. But it's not like a painful spice, it's more just a fills the whole mouth and sort of burns slash tingles a bit at all times. So, not like hot, hot. When you have actual chilies in your meal, it's definitely gonna be spicy. <laughs> My mouth is on fire. <laughs> <coughs> Josh is struggling. He's struggling. <laughs> on the last bite, I got something up my nose and it went and now like, I was sneezing and it's like spice shooting out of my nose. I was fine right up until that point. Uh, I, on the other hand, had a runny nose. I've been um, sniffling. I've been crying out my eyes. And I didn't even finish my meal, sadly. Hopefully I won't make the mistake again of listening to the guy when he says, little spice. And I say, really bro, is it little or a lot? And he still said little. That was a lie. So <laughs> Not enjoyable. We so on that basis, we looked up the word for not spicy in Thai, and it's my fet. My fet, yeah. So that, now we know. And now I'll be saying that every single time. <laughs> Fueled up and now with no spice in our mouths, we are ready to go to the grocery store. Ashley is looking for stuff to make her own food. Yeah, I want to make tom yum soup. I've never done it before, mm -hmm. but I figured in Thailand it'll be easy to find the, sure. all the ingredients. Yeah. So. Um, there's a debate as to whether it'd be cheaper for us to go out to eat or to make food. Yeah. I'm kind of on the line looking at the prices we've seen so far. It might be just cheaper to eat at a, an inexpensive place, yeah. but then we'd have to go out all the time. So then again, she'd have to cook but all the I time. Like cooking. And so, now yeah. that we have an apartment that we can cook in, then I want to take advantage. Yeah. And to be fair, this is sort of an upper scale experience that we're showing. You yeah. can, there's a lot of markets and stuff, and we may go to one of those later, depending on what we can find here. But as you can see, this is like, it's a normal looking grocery store. Really the most nice. Part. We haven't looked at prices yet, but we'll see. We'll I, see. I'm not sure. I don't know that we need this big of a rice. I was thinking something more like this. And 
it's only 50 bucks. So, so maybe we go with this? So like a dollar and a half for yeah. what looks to be um, four meals worth of rice. And a lot of different kinds of rice. But for only like five dollars, you can get like this big thing. So definitely scale is going to help you on, on the pricing. Or you can buy individual sized ones. For 19 baht, that's like 70 cents, something like that. How cute. <laughs> We're not proud of it, but Josh and I love Red Bull. And here is Red Bull that we know. But supposedly Josh is telling me that this is actually the original Red Bull in these little little jar things. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're really cheap. Yeah, so Red Bull, the original brand, is a Thai brand. And then Red Bull USA, I think, bought out the rights to produce Red Bull in the rest of the world. So this is really? only available in Thailand. And, and then it's 30 cents. Yeah, yeah. And then like the normal Red Bull, as we know it, normal is available everywhere else for like five times more. You want to try it? I mean, I've had it many times. I've never had it. Yeah, all right, we'll get I'm one. getting one, 30 cents. So we definitely need some bottled water. Drinking water from the tap is not suggested and we're trying to stay away from any stomach issues. So we have lots of options here, but we're pretty far away from our apartment, so I think we're gonna go to a 7-Eleven that's just down the street and buy some more bottled water for our home. Yeah, because I do not want to carry that all the way. No. <laughs> no, but people do use plastic bottles all the time, um, which isn't great, but um, I think we're gonna try to get a big old jug. I don't know if this is most people, but I just nerd out at department stores and drug stores. I love seeing all the different stuff that they have, different places of the world, so this is fun for me. These are some toothpaste brands. There's one called Nude. It's an import from Japan. Um, we've got Veldent, I don't know, Extreme Awake, <laughs> Zact Lion. It has tea and coffee. I'm assuming it's like a stain fighter. Yeah. I mean, it's all kinds of stuff. Darley. Like, it's just so interesting to see all these different kinds of stuff. And look at this. Look at this. This is like you press a button and the guy flips out and a toothbrush comes out for kids. How cool. Well, three bucks to get your kid to wash his teeth. I might need one of those. <laughs> so we're in the coffee aisle and it seems that a lot of the options are all instant coffee, not actual like brewing coffee. And we didn't have a brewer or anything in our Airbnb. So I think that instant coffee is what we're going to get. I don't know if we'll get it. Josh doesn't really like instant I, coffee. I would just as soon not have coffee than to have bad instant. Yeah. I, well, and I drink tea for the most part. If we have regular coffee, I would drink it with milk, but I think we're gonna forego on the instant coffee then. <laughs> Another super interesting thing is we're in the chip aisle and it seems that a lot of them are seafood flavored. You have crab flavors, you have little squid flavors, and or shrimp flavored chips, or seaweed flavored chips. So a lot of different seafood flavored chips, which is not something you find in the US. We're in the skincare aisle now. Um, I forgot my sunscreen moisturizer in New Zealand. I'm extremely sad about that. The one I found was perfect. Um, one thing that is interesting is that in Thailand specifically, the idea of light skin is very popular. Uh, I don't know if it's influenced from the West exactly or just people being generally unhappy with the way they look, which is a fairly normal occurrence in the world. But every single product, it seems, has the word white on it. Like, white radiance, look white, white skincare. I mean... All their lotions seem to have, like, sunscreen in them so that people stay white in the sun. And that's not something that I want. <laughs> so I can't really find any lotions that I actually like or want. Um, and they're fairly expensive. And they have an entire aisle of instant noodles. Instant noodle heaven. <laughs> oh my gosh, they sell little packages of soft boiled eggs. These are soft boiled eggs and they come with a little sauce. Cute! <laughs> so cute. 16 for like 30 cents. So I was searching for all the ingredients I need for tom yum soup and found among the ingredients I needed a little pack that has every fresh ingredient that I need for the tom yum soup. It has the lemongrass, it has the lime leaves, um, some ginger and chili and a lime right here. It's perfect. It's like the mother load. <laughs> I spent 
about $40 making two different dishes. Each dish should, should serve us at least two dinners each. So then that's eight meals that we got out of $4 or $40 plus. We got a lot of ingredients that Thais like to use in their Thai dishes. So we won't have to rebuy those items. We already have them and we can make all these other new dishes with the ingredients we already have at our house. All we have to do is buy the fresh ingredients. So I think that's worth it. I, I don't know if it's cheaper to go out to eat and spend a dollar fifty each, three yeah, dollars. I don't think so. Um, that would save us a lot of time and um, possibly even money. Mm -hmm. And we also got things like shampoo and a yeah. few extra items. That's true. We didn't spend only on food, but we bought a few different things like a loofah and some lotion and some shampoo, just necessities that we need in our new Airbnb. So that'll pretty much get us through the next week for forty yeah. bucks. Yeah, actually, it should be pretty good uh, for dinners. We still will have to figure out lunches, um, but that should be fairly simple. Back in our little apartment, we're gonna show you what we bought. So, Ashley. What do we get for $40 in Thailand? Well, this is, seems to be the snack bag. Some cuttlefish chips. Oh, you got them. <laughs> um, we got Pocky. We got some salt and nuts for our Pad Thai. Um, we need some cornstarch. We got some soy sauce. We got some tamarind paste. Some more pucky. A lot of Thai recipes call for brown sugar. We got some chili paste. We got some um, little chicken broth cubes. We got a scrubby for the bathroom. Uh, this is uh, tofu, a big old thing of rice, oh, giant. Some more snacks. Oh. They have Pringles in uh, Thailand. We got coconut milk and regular milk for tea. Coconut milk's for Tom Yum. And then some shampoozles. Pantene Pro-V also in Thailand. We got some eggs. Two little original Red Bulls to try out. Which we'll probably try for you guys before we close the video out. Probably while I'm cooking. We got some fish sauce, which was, this is like 15 baht. That's so cheap. We got some Thai rice noodles for Pad Thai. These you actually have to soak so that they get bigger. We got some chicken for their chicken Pad Thai. And then this is all our veggies. We got some um, onions, uh, bok choy, coriander, or what do we call this? Uh, cilantro. Cilantro and coriander, same thing. Uh, this is garlic, elephant garlic. They're giant bulbs of garlic. This is our tum yum soup set. Some mushrooms for our tom yum soup. This is for our pad thai. These are fresh um, bean sprouts. Some little lemons or limes. And last but not least, some little tomatoes for the tom yum soup. This is our haul, 40 bucks. Quite a bit of food actually, and it's all fresh food, so I think I'm gonna start cooking um, our Tom Yum soup. All right, I'm making dinner, making some Tom Yum soup, or if I add coconut, I think it makes it something else, Tom something else soup, but I think that we're gonna do that. We're gonna have the coconut milk added to it to make it a little more creamy. Mm -hmm. um, I've used my small little pack that I got um, with the lemongrass, with ginger, with um, all the different items in this pot, which it's making right now the yummy broth. And it smells amazing. It does, it smells kind of lemony. Yeah, I mean, that's the lemongrass in there and those little leaves that are in there. It's like a lemony um, leaf, which is really, really neat. Um, so that's simmering, but um, something that we didn't notice before going grocery shopping was we don't have a knife. We don't have anything to cut. This Airbnb did not come with a knife. We have scissors though. So uh, I literally, all those ingredients and all these ingredients I'm cutting with scissors because it's the only option that we have. <laughs> and because of that, 
a lot of the ingredients here we can serve in the soup normally, but I'm just gonna strain them out because like the peppers, I couldn't chop them up into tiny pieces. I had to cut them and um, that would be really spicy if we got one in the soup. So I'm cutting everything up and I'm going to um, finish this off and then we can eat it. So we'll show you when it's done. All right, Ashley has made for us a delicious meal. What do we have? Okay, so this is Tom Yum soup, but I added coconut milk, which makes it Tom Ka soup, is what I understand. Uh -huh. So traditionally it does not have um, milk in it, coconut right. milk, and this is a vegetarian version. So I actually use tofu. Um, I have bok choy, tofu, and um, mushrooms in there, as well as cherry tomatoes. So if you're a vegetarian, this is perfect uh -huh. for you. And I like trying to make Ashley say things in the proper accent. So how would you say Tom Ka in Thai? Tom Ka? Tom Ka? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know I don't know, know that Josh knows either. No, I don't know either, <laughs> but my guess would be Tom Ka. Like, Maybe. a little more Thai sounding. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, so uh, we have some chili paste at the table, um, if it's not spicy enough for you. Um, and then I have my original Red Bull I haven't tried. Ooh, give that a shot. It smells like regular Red Bull. Yeah, yeah. It smells really good. I mean, I'm curious to hear what her, like what she thinks the difference is. Mmm, it's delicious. It's super sweet. Yeah. And more syrupy, I feel like. So my, the, what I think the main difference is, is that Red Bull from the US is carbonated mm. and this is not carbonated. And that's for me like the big difference. So if I added this to my sparkling water. Well, no, because then it would just be watered down. But if you added carbonation to it, I think it would be very similar. But it's so like syrupy. Maybe. Mm, that's a crunch, that's good. Yeah, I had, was that celery or something? It's bok choy. Bok choy, which yep. I really like, but I've never had it this way before to my knowledge. So the sauce was a little bit sweet with additional salty. So I'm guessing that's like the coconut is the sweet and whatever you put in there, maybe soy sauce was yes. salty. Uh-huh, and then there's lemony, like a lemony flavor. I didn't taste it's the lemony that flavor. Strong. Huh. No, I'm not getting a lemon specific flavor. Okay, so we might anything. add more lemon juice maybe. if we want. And let me try the tofu because I haven't actually had that in a piece yet. That's a, that's a nice good chunk, I like that. I had to use a knife of scissors. <laughs> Okay, so the tofu, I feel like if we had soaked the tofu in the broth, it would be like a better flavor to the tofu overall. I'm not a big fan of tofu flavor, so that's my preference. But overall, I think everything combined, especially if you're having it with the sauce, this is really, really good. I Thank you. I, I really I really enjoy this. This is delicious. You're welcome. I don't know if um, soaking the tofu would actually just make it mush or dissolve know. it. I don't know because... It's already squishy. Because Well, tofu comes in like a liquid... Right? Well, yeah, that's true. So I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. But All that's, right. that's my takeaway. <laughs> All right. Delicious meal. Try it out down below and let us know what you think. Well, that's yeah. it for uh, grocery stores in Thailand <laughs> and our shopping experience and Ashley making home cooked food in our wonderful Airbnb apartment. Yeah. We are really enjoying living here. I mean, so far it's, it's been wonderful. It's only been a couple days and I feel like we've acclimated. Today was a perfect experience like yeah. going to the grocery store one thing i would suggest if you are coming to a new country mm -hmm. um and you need to go grocery shopping is to look up a recipe of a food or a dish that you know they have in that country so that when you go to the grocery store you know you'll find those items easily right. um, they'll be easily accessible to you and um it's a meal that you would enjoy and want to try anyway yeah. so that would be my suggestion it would just make your time at the grocery store a lot less stressful trying to figure mm -hmm. out like what i can make and prepare the only drawback we found was that there were a few items that were so integral to the dishes that it was hard to find them in smaller quantities yeah. because everyone just uses them so yeah, we true. probably won't use um, all of the tamarind paste we bought yeah. and it ended up being kind of expensive because it was three dollars and we used three quarters of a tablespoon yeah. instead of a giant bottle but for the next person that comes to this Airbnb they've yeah. got tamarind <laughs> sauce so that's nice. That's true. And we definitely need to go out and buy a knife. Never have an Airbnb without a knife. I think that's super That's the first. That's the first one. I don't know. How do, but, you, how do you cut things? Yeah, yeah. But other than that, this Airbnb is perfect. Yeah. So, yeah. I hope we encourage you guys to get out and travel today. I mm -hmm. hope you're enjoying Thailand. If you have any suggestions of other videos you'd like to see, let us know down below. And I'll give this a recipe of our soup to Josh and we can put it in the link in the description so you guys can okay. try Tom Ka, Tom Ka. Um, as well, a vegetarian version. Tom so. Ka. All right, goodbye and Thai. <laughs>
I we don't know. Saudi? <laughs> Saudi cop? We haven't looked that up. But goodbye from Thailand and we'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Hello and welcome to The Way Away. I'm John. And I'm Ashley. And today we are going to be investigating what do Americans think about Thailand. You see, we just moved to Thailand. Um, if you've watched our previous videos in this series. A huge shout out to all of our patrons who helped make this video possible. If you want to follow more, go to Instagram at wayawaymag. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out our second channel, Way More, if you want to see way more from us. Mm -hmm.